Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minidov, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server for your PC, Windows 7 computer, whatever you want to call it. Now I've done plenty, I mean plenty, of tutorials for how to do it on a Mac, so if you want to do it for your Mac, then go ahead and click the link in the description and you will be all good. But I am doing it for Windows now because I've had a lot, a lot of requests to do it for Windows. So I'm going to show you how to do it and this will be really simple. So I have two links in the description and the first one is to Minecraft.net. So all you need to do is go to Minecraft.net and under the Play Minecraft tab, press Download. And then go under the Multiplayer Server and grab the MinecraftServer.exe. Okay, and then go ahead and let that download. I'm just going to save it as and save it to my desktop, okay? And it doesn't matter what browser you're using to download this, you will be all good. So right here, we got it on my desktop and I'm going to put this in a new folder. Now, the reason why I do that is because the second you run the MinecraftServer.exe, it's going to create a bunch of files and you don't want it cluttering up your desktop. So I'm just gonna call it server and I'm just gonna put the MinecraftServer.exe into the server folder, okay? So now that we've got that, go ahead and open it up and just go ahead and double click the MinecraftServer.exe. And I'm just going to turn this off because I always want to run this and I know it's a safe program. And just go ahead and let it run up. You're going to get some errors right here and just let it spawn the uh, area and that's it. Pretty much just wait for it to finish and when it says done, you can go ahead and stop it. Now people ask me all the time, how do you stop the server? Don't just press the X, okay? That's not a good thing to do. I wouldn't recommend it. What you want to do is just go ahead and type in stop. Just type in stop and that's going to do it for you. And just wait for it to stop and it'll close itself. So when you want to open your server back up, just double click that. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to edit the server.properties. So go ahead and double click it and it's going to tell you you can't open the file. Uh, so that's fine, that's fine. So go ahead and select a program from installed programs, press OK. Okay, so when you get to this screen, just go ahead and choose Notepad. Um, you can also use Microsoft Word or any other text editing program that you have. Okay, so just go ahead and press always use the selected program with this kind of file and press OK. So then you should get a bunch of mumbo jumbo that looks somewhat like this, okay? And here you can edit all of the server properties, the things that you want to change. Now, the thing that I like to change is I like to turn PvP off. Okay, PvP off is going to make it so you can't hit and kill each other. I spelled false wrong. So I like to turn that off and you can change the name of your server. You can change the max players. You can change the game mode and the difficulty. I'll have all of this in the description. So what you want to change it to if you want creative or you want it to be hardcore or whatever you want it to be, you can change that. Um, leave the server IP blank. I know a lot of people tell you to change that. Don't change it. Trust me on that. Don't change it. And don't change the server port. I've tried doing it without it and it's not going to work. Okay, so once that's done, just go ahead and close it and choose save. Now it gets to the tricky part. This is the part where I'm going to lose a lot of people. And I want you guys to stay with me and just focus, okay? Focus for this. So go ahead and go to your start menu and you want to open up command prompt. And if you don't have command prompt in your little start icon thing just type in CMD and you will have it so CMD and then press enter and you should see something that looks like this and what you want to do is type in IP config now what we're, what we're trying to accomplish here is we're going to forward the port so other people can join so just type in IP config just like that and I'm going to press enter on my other screen because there are some stuff I have to blur out and okay you should get something that looks a lot like this and you, all you're looking for is the default gateway and the IPv4 address. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type this into Notepad so I don't forget it. All right, so now I've got it typed up in Notepad. You don't have to do this. You can leave this open, but because I don't want to have to keep blurring this out for you, I just typed it into Notepad. So just remember the IPv4 address and the default gateway. Those are the only two things you're going to need. So go ahead and close this, or you can keep it open, whatever you want, as long as you've got these two things saved. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your internet browser and instead of going to minecraft.net, you are going to type in your uh, I, your default gateway right here. So just type that into the actual web page bar. So 192.168.1.1 and press enter. Okay, now this part I might lose a lot of people too. So 
You're going to need your default router username and password. I know what mine is and I have a website that you can find yours. So I'm just going to log in. Most of the time it's admin and admin. Now I changed the password but it's most of the time it's admin and admin or admin and blank or just leave it blank. I'm going to log in and if you don't know what your router username and password is, that's okay. Just go ahead and go to another link in the description and it should look like this and you can find your router username and password here. So for instance, if you have a let's see, let's go down to L for Linksys cuz a lot of people have Linksys. You go down to Linksys, you find, you know, if you have a WAP11, it says there is no username and there is no password. And so you should be able to find all the usernames and passwords for whatever router you may have. So there's a lot of stuff here. I hope this helps you out, but I would try first admin and admin and admin and blank and if that doesn't work, then I would go to this website. So this is going to look different for you as well, unless you have the same router as me. I have a Cisco Valet M10. Okay, so um, what you're going to want to look for is something about port forwarding, applications and gaming. Uh, you'll know when it looks basically like this. This is what you want it to look like. You will have it on here. I promise you will have it. Uh, just You can find it in here somewhere. It, it could look like this. All you want is port forwarding, you know, applications of gaming. I can't tell you what it is for every router. So all you want to do is type in the application name. So I'm just going to type Minecraft. It can really you can type it whatever you want. It doesn't affect it. So you could type it poop for whatever it matters. And the port you want two five five six five. Remember that that was in the server dot properties, and I told you not to change it. So don't don't even try changing it. Just leave it two five five six five. Leave the protocol to both. So TCP and UDP, whatever option you may have. And for the two IP address, that is where you want the IPv4 address. So notice how it already has 192.168.1. And then all we have to do is put in the 116. Now this will be different for you, so don't put in 116, put in whatever your IPv4 address is. So I'm just going to put mine in and press enable, okay? And then go ahead and press save settings or whatever you need to do on your router. I'm sorry, they're all different. And that's it. You can go ahead and close this. I'm just going to minimize it for now and I'm going to minimize this. Now, all you have to do is start up your server. This should be pretty simple. Just go ahead and double click it again and it should start up pretty darn fast. And now, I'm going to go ahead and join my own server. I'm going to meet you guys in Minecraft and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am now in Minecraft. So I'm going to go to the multiplayer menu and I've got more stuff blurred out here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to press um, add server. Okay, press add server. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my server because it's my server. And for the server IP address. Now, this is only the IP address that you want to use for you. Okay, because you are hosting the server, because it's on your computer, you want to type in localhost. Okay, I will show you what IP address you need to give to your friends in a second. We're just testing out the server to see if it works. Press done, and you should see a Minecraft server. Or if you titled it something else, then that would work. And just go ahead and join it, see if it works, and everything will be fine and dandy. Now, I do have the camera studio mod installed and the shaders mod, but I mean, this won't transfer from server to server. But yeah, everything looks like it's working out great. So now that you're in the server, um, you might not be able to break blocks. Now, you might. If you can, then you're okay, but if you can't, then I would go into the console, which is the, um, you know, the Minecraft server. Java file, whatever you want to call it, and then go ahead and type in OP and your Minecraft name. So mine, it says on the left, it says player Minitough. Now check out what, what happens on my screen. You can't really see it because I blurred it out, but it says OP'd Minitough. So now I'm an OP, I can do all the server commands and whatnot. So we are almost done here, guys. This is pretty much it. I'm going to show you now the IP address that you need to give to your friends and then we will be golden and good. Go to the first link, which should be whatsmyip.org. I will have this in the description for you. And right up top here, uh, it says your IP address. This is the IP that you wanna give to people to join. Again, it's blurred out for me because I don't wanna give it away to people, but this is the IP that people will join from. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think you should be able to understand the rest. So this is the IP give to people. And yeah, then make sure your server is running before you have anyone join. And that's it. So if you want to import like um, 
worlds that you have already. I can show you how to do that if just request a tutorial and I will do it for you. And I have plenty of Mac server videos if you want to see them. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for many more server tutorial videos and Minecraft videos in general. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can check out one of the other two videos on screen as well as you can subscribe if you want to be notified when a future video of mine is released. So the top video I have for you today is my Mac server tutorial video. This will show you all the steps you need to make a server for your Mac. And on the bottom we have my Skyblock Let's Play. It's like a 25 part series and that is episode 1. So if you've got a lot of time on your hands then you can go ahead and watch that. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.